now that you know I'm not totally tied down to you, now you want to play games with me? Well, understand, honey, I don't have to deal with you. I can go over here with her. I got many of buckets to choose from, sweetheart. So you ain't stopping what's going on with me. So if you gonna act up, I'm about to link up. I ain't gonna lie, I didn't know Darius Jackson was black. When I first saw that Kiki Palmer was pregnant and, you know, images of her with her baby's father, he looked Hispanic to me. I'm gonna just keep it a buck. Apparently he's uh, mixed. But yeah, shout out, shout out to that brother. I apologize for thinking you weren't a brother <laughs> and thinking that Kiki was a divester, which was gonna be perhaps another case study. But um, so she was at an Usher concert and she um, was being serenaded by Mr. Usher Raymond himself. got pretty touchy-feely, um, and Darius apparently did not like the outfit that she had on. I suspect it wasn't really about the outfit, and it was more so about the fangirling over another man publicly. As far as the outfit, she had a one-piece on, you know, was sheer. I think the only questionable part about the outfit is her butt cheeks being out in the back. Uh, but it, in 2023, this isn't the worst that I've seen. But recently, you know, she had a baby and she is one of the lucky ones and gained weight in all the right places. Well, my body was cute. You know what I mean? I had a very baby time. You know, it was a little athletic shape. It was cute. What's going on now? <laughs> it's like, yo. I mean, I look at myself in the morning. I'm like, damn, girl, who are you? I'm really blown away, guys. I'm just grateful that it went this way. Because you took this all a bunch of different ways. And I assume that has a lot to do with Darius's discomfort with her newfound sex appeal. And you know, it's kind of polarized people on social media. Some people are saying that he is right in his critique and rebuke of her. Other people, mostly women, are saying that he's insecure. Um, he didn't even think her or think highly enough of her to make him or make her his wife before having a baby. He's insecure. He wants to control and police a woman's sexuality, sensuality, and presentation. Obviously, that's misogynistic. I think that, again, it wasn't about the outfit. It was about the fact that she is now a sex symbol, which she didn't used to be. And she is seen on camera publicly gushing over another man. I, I don't know any red-blooded man who would be comfortable with that, except for like cucks or, you know, people who get into that lifestyle. But I ain't gonna lie, some of the critiques of him are fair. A couple months ago or a couple, you know, a while back, he posted a picture like this. And if it's okay for him to post a picture like this, what's the problem with her being in an outfit like that? Or a while back after she had the baby originally, he posted a video of her with a skin tight bodysuit on. Y'all see this? Y'all see this work? <laughs> so it's okay for you to post her online, essentially objectifying her, but when she's doing it by herself, it's a problem. And, and again, that's, that's fair. That's fair. However, I think what this really gets to the heart of is the changing intersexual dynamics between men and women. Women are now competing, essentially, with their male counterparts as far as, far as earning potential, as far as breadwinning. So the things that grandma needed grandpa for, women today don't necessarily need a man for. And a man now is more so a partner 
you know, somebody to share experiences with as opposed to the utilitarian aspects of what men bring to the proverbial table. Obviously, I don't necessarily agree with that. I think men are more than just our utility and we serve more of a purpose than just how we help or satisfy women. Um, however, I think that's part of the reason why some of the things that would have been considered just decorum and, you know, this is how you move when you have a man is no longer kind of the case, right? Like in Kiki's case, it's fair to assume she's the breadwinner. It's fair to assume she's the higher earner. She's the more famous individual. So she is kind of in the dominant role. Maybe that's not the case behind closed doors, but publicly that's what it looks like. And to be fair, most men are uncomfortable with that dynamic. Even the men who claim to be, even the men who claim to be feminists, there is something that feels very emasculating about that, that dynamic when you can't really tell your woman anything. And again, that's one of the major critiques coming out of social media against Darius. I think naturally women are hypergamous. Women naturally, if left to their devices, would seek out a man who is equal to them or greater. And I think there's a necessity to that, even when it comes to procreation, when it comes to protection. I need to feel protected and covered by somebody who is, whether physically larger than me or larger than life than me. And maybe that's changing. Maybe that's eventually going to no longer be the case as women are become more capable, at least financially and socially. But I think we're experiencing the growing pains of that process. And like I said, even for women who claim to not need a man to occupy the traditional masculine role or the men who claim to not need a woman to occupy the traditional feminine role, I think there is still a subconscious, there is still a covert desire for that. For men, there's still that desire to be dominant. For women, there's still that desire to be submissive. And you'll see women who, the boss women who get with men who are lesser than them, and there's still sort of a yearning. And sometimes we see it play out in situations like this. And again, maybe at some point, you know, we'll get to the point in our human experience where men no longer desire women to be smaller and women no longer to desire a man to be larger. I think the other thing we need to talk about is sexuality, or at least the presentation of sexuality. And I've said this in a video before how our women are over-indexing on their sexuality. And what I mean by that, it's like, um, it's like how blind people can hear really, really well. Since because of our circumstances, especially in an American historical context, a lot of our women have lost their feminine essence and have had to overcompensate with sexuality. And I think the same can be said for men. And that's why you see these displays of, look at me, look at how many men would want to or would like to sleep with me. Look at how sexy I can be. As opposed to, some people would say some more traditional metrics like look at how well I take care of my family, look at how happy my husband or my boyfriend is. Every woman or most women these days seem to aspire to want to be that, that bad bitch, that Instagram model, that quote unquote brand ambassador. And I've been yelling at the mountaintops, it's not sustainable because if sex appeal is your entire brand, age will inevitably take it away. And then, you know, in Nigeria, we call it sea finish. At some point, people will be accustomed to seeing your breasts and accustomed to seeing your butt cheeks and accustomed, if you're on OnlyFans or if you're in um, the adult industry, accustomed to seeing your vagina and they'll want something different. That's how men are wired. So for our women to continue to over-index on sex appeal, in my opinion, is tragic. Happens if you ever had a Summer Walker situation with me. Some girl was just like, yo, uh -oh. just, just, just so you know. She was wearing like <laughs> my Eagles jersey. She's not even getting on the line with me. 
She not, I'm not talking to nobody. I don't care. She could be standing next to you in a picture. My name, I'm blind. <laughs> I'm Stevie Wonder to the bullshit. And whatever that we going through, is we talking about that in the closet. Like, we uh. ain't nobody, like, it's on some, like, he's got a twin brother. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, I'm not discussing but then, that. But then how are you going to react? When people bring it to you, I saw your man or I saw that. And you know, people. Are gonna- and I saw your man. <laughs> I didn't want to bring it up, but since we're bringing it up, have you checked with him? <laughs> and then we'll laugh and then we'll move on because they know I'm not playing at that point. Exactly. Right. <laughs> you don't have to discuss your man or your money. I think the fact that he decided to call her out publicly speaks to two things. Number one, I actually agree with the critiques. I don't think that was the right way to go about it, especially as a man. But number two, it tells me that perhaps he brought it up with her and she blew it off. And he thought this was his last attempt. However, I think it was inappropriate. Apparently, they both recently unfollowed each other on Instagram. Um, But we'll see how this plays out. This is a very good example of our new relationship dynamic, especially in the black community. Perhaps monogamy is no longer the goal. Perhaps relationships are now more about excitement and are more short-lived. And the criteria that you use to select a mate is more so about convenience and I want my kids to look like this as opposed to this is the partner that I'm going to need to turn my children into functioning adults. Perhaps that's the direction that we're going, but we'll see. If they're meant to work it out, they will. But like I've always said, celebrity relationships don't really make sense to me. If I was giving, you know, young dudes advice, I would say, you know, women who are enthusiastic about being famous or that type of personality type like Kiki, they're very hard to keep entertained because... Nothing is ever good enough. And it's just constant striving and constant tap dancing that, you know, I don't think is sustainable, especially if you're chasing a greater purpose. But again, there are other guys who are okay with that. And I don't know if those guys are always going to be the ones that women would like to partner with. But again, we'll see how all this plays out. Y'all give me your thoughts in the comments and I'll catch y'all in the next one. If you want to see more of this, please click that like button. It helps tremendously. And share this to somebody you think would gain value from the message. And hit that subscribe button as well. Peace out, y'all.